Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. So, the viewers have asked and I have replied. So, this is going to be a Tiberium series on the GDI um, scenario. Now, I have got a few little different mods. So, these are the mods I'm going to be using with this. We've got Tiberium Rim, of course, and the factions. We've got the allow tool. I really like the uh, the fact that you can allow all items on the map with that, and it's got the speed, the speed, uh, where is it? The hold urgently uh, portion to it as well. Now we've also got these are two new ones for me. So we've got Rain Rainbews Fertile Fields. Now this looks pretty interesting because you can actually, does it say down here? Uh, might say down there, but that's too much reading. Yeah, you can basically turn uh, any area into a growing zone. So you can turn rock into a growing area, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, seeds, please. I've had, I decided to add that, make growing a little bit more interesting. A lot of the stuff to plant, you now need seeds. Sounds interesting. Uh, vegetable garden adds various uh, vegetables and also adds... Um, drinks I believe and camera plus because I really do like zooming in and seeing my people dying in pain uh, we're going to do the new colony and we are doing GDI expedition so the winning scenario for this is we need to secure the blue Tiberium field uh, destroy the nearby vein hole. I've not got a clue how to do that. Uh, there's multiple Tiberium towers we need to destroy them and then we leave it when it's all it's all dead right and this is my save i thought this would be a quicker way of showing it to you than waiting for it to load so we're just going to dive in and see what's what now i've only the only criteria i've gone for this with the uh, spawning the people is i've not got anyone who's got negative attributes so this is the motley crew right first of all we're going to allow all there we go okay Kevin, Choke, Yama, and Yavier. Uh, I probably will actually change the names of these. So if you're watching this and you want to be named as one of the colonists, I, I'll quite happily change the names of them to you. So let us know if you want to be changed. Uh, well, it, not if you change. If you want to be named in the game, and I will name you all. So let's have a little look. So, ooh, so straight away we've got our warden, social 13, and you're really good. You're a nudist. Careful nude shooter, excellent. Oh, what? Le intellectual 16. Mm -mm -mm. You're going to be a good researcher and warden. Right, then we've got choke, uh, masochist, psychically sensitive, not really good at anything in particular, artistic and a bit of growing. Uh, we've got Yama, who is a green thumb, and also chemical interest. Oh, that must mean he's a scientist. <laughs> uh, and then we've got... Oh, so what? Quite a few are good at growing. That's pretty... That's pretty... Um, that's good to see. Right, so... What is the area? So, this garden mod. Look how cool this looks. So, the, the um, vegetable garden adds things like this. Look, apple trees. Uh, what on earth is that? A camellia tree. Uh, we've got wild mushrooms... So we've got all sorts of stuff. I don't know what this is going to be look like when it's covered in green. Now, I've actually spawned right near the vein hole. Now, that is the thing that I need to uh, try and control. Now, the other thing we need to do, I need to find the vein hole. What is that? Plumeria? What is that? A beautiful bushy flower that grows in random colours. Beautiful. Right. We've got some uh, compacted salt there. Oh, cool. So we've got all sorts of different mining stuff. Now, I need to find the vein hole. There it is. So that is the thing that I need to go and kill. And I need to control that. So, I'm thinking, why uh, why, f why go to uh, somewhere far? I can pretty much hang around here. Uh, in fact, ooh, could I kill that? Mm, I don't think I could kill that straight away. I really would like to try and blow that up. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to build around here and up there. You know what? Let's try it. I don't know if this is even going to work. Right. So we're going to stick a, a door on there and a door on there and a wooden door there. And this is going to be our storeroom. So everything goes in there. We've got quite a few that can haul. Okay. Stuff is getting hauled. 
Nice. Is that a mega scarab or a bunny rabbit? It's a hare. Okay. So that's quite interesting. Salt, so I wonder what I can use that with. Hmm. Maybe I can lick the wall like a giraffe. Maybe that'll help us out. Oh, I don't really like them all going near all this uh, Tiberium now. Yeah, that's definitely not a good idea. Right, hopefully they're all going to go away and leave all that now. Right. Let's have a little... Let's chop some of this wood around here. I do need a little bit of extra wood at the start. So I'll have a few doing that. And the rest of them are going to uh, get busy hauling all this. Now I do need... Do, whoa, Kevin. I don't know if that's a terrible idea. Let's uh, forbid that one. Do you get... Now you've not got infected off that, but that is a silly thing to be doing. So we're going to ban that one. Yeah, you can get them meals. They're fine. It was the uh, the fact that the meal is actually on top of the Tiberium, and you've just gone over and just eat, tried to... Uh, colonists, what can you do? Right, someone... Come on. One of, you's one of you randomly should be able to do plant cutting. And they can't. Let's have them all do a little bit of plant cutting. Okay, so we've got some wood there. Good. That's it. Now, I don't, I don't particularly want to do the beds in there, but... I think, for the start of the game... I'm just going to get four beds in here. At least it's out, outside of the, uh, the area. Now, what are you doing? Deconstructing. Good. I just want to get the steel and components from this. Come on. What a lovely place to eat a meal. Right next to some green Tiberium. Okay, so we've got some seeds there. Some oak seeds. Now, speaking of seeds, so... Production-wise, uh, I think we probably need one of those. A plant processing bench. I think that's what we need to make uh, seeds. So, that's going to be interesting. So, we're going to get one of those chucked down. Uh, we have got the terraformer ability now, which means I can turn various environments so say for instance this here slate so if i go on here so have i got slate on here mm, i've got rocky i can make rocky dirt from sand no that's not compatible no oh come on i can't do soil from that that type slate I should be able to... Man, that is rocky dirt anyway. I can grow on that. I so need these to uh, hurry up and do this. Come on. Right, so we've got this pro processing bench. This is interesting. So, extract rice seeds. Let's try and do that a couple of times. Potato seeds. So, are these going to get these in the wild? Or... Do I actually have to plant them? I've not actually got any potato seeds, I don't believe. Still a lot of stuff to haul over here. Now you start seeing, that they're going to start getting the helmets. Now the cool thing about the Tiberium mod is these helmets here. GDI helmets. Now if you look at these, these give you a blunt uh, bonus, a sharp bonus, 5% shooting accuracy and also a Tiberium filter. So. It's important we get a lot of them. Likewise, it's important I start doing things like power and stuff. So, if I'm going to be hanging around here for a little bit, I think I might as well start planning my uh, walls and rooms and stuff. So, let's get a little uh, miscellaneous room going here. I'm going to put power in that one. Raspberry bush. Hmm, I wonder if there's going to be a wild potato plant bush. 
I'm not sure. So let's uh, let's stick a few grow zones down. So we'll have one there. Uh, I'm just going to do the various crops in these and see what I can and can't actually grow. So we're going to have... So we've got some new stuff to, to grow now. We've got things like snow beet. We've got sugar cane, tea plant, coffee plant. Lots of stuff. Now what's this flax? Is flax something we can grow? Yeah. Uh, smoked leaf, potato. Uh, I'm going to put rice, potato. I'm not seeing berry. We have got carrots though. Yeah, I've not seen a strawberry plant. I wonder if that's been gotten rid of. So I don't think I'm going to be able to plant any of these. I think I need the seeds. So let's try and... Right, so we do need materials. So... That is going to be tricky to try and get. Okay, so much more to a uh, haul. Yeah, got all the armor, components, uh, the inhibitor. So there's still quite a bit to uh, actually haul. Okay, and they're all off to bed. End of the day. So we've got our basic room up now. Now, the thing is with this um, farming mod, I need to figure out how I'm going to grow. So, ooh, we can make fertilizer. Fertilizer, I believe, is made from a compost barrel, and in the compost barrel, we need to put raw. Um, well, it says ten raw compost, so I think maybe we have to break it down in that. But that needs actually needs compost to make. Hmm. This is going to be very interesting. Right, let's have a look at terraforming. I don't think that's going to help me. I need to figure out how I'm going to get raw potatoes and raw rice now the only thing i can think is in the wild there is somewhere these raw materials now it's just a case of finding the right food um i'm not seeing any ri wild rice growing anywhere though hmm raspberry bushes no rice anywhere though. Right, we'll try. I'm gonna try and harvest some of these grass fields. Maybe it's in the grass. Um, that apple tree's nearly grown. Let's uh, get some food off that. We've got a peach tree as well. They're not hugely ready. That one is. That one nearly is. So let's try and cut some of the grass around here. Maybe. I'm going to be lucky and get some of these uh, um, seeds and stuff from just like normal plants. We'll see. So they've all currently got um, various um, hats and stuff. They all need to get armor though. So I think the engineer suit does give you a bonus for, what is it now? Mining speed and construction speed. So Kevin's got that on. So let's have a little look. So Kevin, are you even doing construction? Not really. Yammer is better, but I'm going to let Kevin do the number one construction. Oh, actually, no, no. We'll have to swap these rounds. We need to uh, drop that helmet and give it to uh, someone else. Kevin is going to be our scientist because he is pretty good at that. And Yammer is going to be our construction person. So let's wait till he wake up. And then we're going to give Yammer the engineering suit. Come on. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Right. They're about to wake up. Right, Yammer. That's near enough. Get that suit on. Kevin, drop that hat. There we go. And Yammer, put the mask on. There we go. Okay. So we've got a few plant cutting over there, which is good. Uh, Kevin, you should go and wear that helmet. 
just so that you're all protected from the uh, Tiberium. And that means we can quickly run and get that mask. Well, that meal, sorry. Okay, now, are we going to get any seeds out of this? Ooh, we've got some mushrooms. I've got a feeling I might have to trade to get some of this stuff. So we're just getting berries from that. Interesting. Right, let's try extract seeds from... Now, we've got mushrooms, haven't we? But they're not on the list. Mm, strawberry seeds are there, but I've not seen them yet. Okay, let's get some. Let's get a little bit of power on the go. So let's get a few. Uh, get a couple of batteries in there. We did want to build that over here, so we have got that component to uh, restrict the growth of that. So we are going to install it over here. Oh, it needs a line of sight. Um, let's just plonk it there. Right, that's going to need power. So we've got the GDI power conduit here. Which I can't go over the mud. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Can I not go over the mud at all? Mm, I can sort of go over here, but not all the way. Yikes. That's going to be awkward. I can come down here, but not in that bit. So I can go there. No, I can go there. there. No. I'm going to have to go up here this way. Right. In that case, then, we're going to have to do a little bit of mining, then. Oh, this is such a terrible waste. Okay. Over here. So we're just going to connect that up to the batteries over here. And then for power, let's just stick a solar panel down. So, where do I want to put it? Let's put it there. Hopefully that's going to hook into the power. And then we're going to dig through here. Actually, let's cancel that bit. Let's just do it a single, single tunnel. And make sure we've got a couple of people on the, uh, the mining, the mining program. Well, I've got nothing else to do. They'll hopefully come along and do it. There you go. Actually, you know who'd be good at mining? You. You've got a mining boost. See? You mine like a boss. Apart from you are now building. I think it's probably better you build anyway. You are going to be faster. Yeah, you are faster. What? The speed! The speed on that is amazing. Right, is the power connected? So let's go to power and see. It is all hooked up. Right, we do need to take the power conduit down here. Okay, got a couple more spots left to do. Come on, there we go. Okay, hauling steel. Now, it's quite a lot of uh, that to finish. And I do believe you finished it. Oh, you need to actually place it there. Let's uh, get the inhibitor moved. Nice. That should be powered up. Mm. Wait a minute. Let's have a little look at the power grid. It's looking good to me. Let's uh, try and reconnect. Wait a minute. Hmm. Now, why is that struggling to uh, connect there? Oh, this isn't actually... What? That's not built. I thought that was built. Okay, I guess it's not built then. <laughs> so, we've got all that to build. We should have enough power to do this. Well, not, not power, sorry. Steel. What are you doing to that fox? That fox and rabbit there. Poor little rabbit. Right, what are, what are the rest of you doing? Have I got more than one person that can do construction? Not really, so let's bung a few of them on the, on the job. 
He's got a few helping out. I think the rest of them are all going to bed now. Yeah. Okay. Choke is the only one that's left up. Hauling steel to stockpile. Nice. I'm quite happy for you to do that. We are running a bit low. Nice. Off to bed. So, that's going to be our sort of production -y room. Uh, that's going to be our storeroom. I might build the uh, the chefery onto that. Do the, uh, the chef's room. Um... I'm going to try and sort out some bedrooms pretty soon. Um, I'm just thinking food-wise, 55 meals. So I've got quite a few meals. Thinking about these um, plant pro pl processing now. We do need to try and get that sorted out. Um, stone cutter table as well. I think it's important we get one of those put down. And start cranking away making stone blocks. So let's have a little look at... Oh, we've not got anything for brewing yet. Uh, should I do a compost barrel? Now, does that need to be inside or outside? It, it says it, it does require power. So, let's just stick it in there. And I think for power as well. I should be okay with just a one solar generator for now. Let's... Um, Let's make sure Yammer is our number one miner. So we don't want anyone else really worrying about that for now. And I suppose um, I, I need to get uh, the bedroom sorted out. So now it's going to be interesting to see if this Tiberium moves because in previous Tiberium ones, this spreads out. I don't know if it's going to spread out or not though. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, I do need to gather a lot of resources though, so what I'm thinking of doing, let's go and try and harvest some various items. So we've got a selection there, we've got mushrooms. What else have we got there? More mushrooms, bushes. I was thinking if I harvest some of these, I'm going to get the seeds, which will be cool. Right. So we've got this massive big area in the middle. I think though, I'm gonna uh, strike the earth and start digging into the actual uh, steel here. So it's gonna be kind of hard to pick how to dig this now. So we're just gonna go yoink like that in. And then I'm gonna do a load of five by five rooms. And these are gonna be the bedrooms basically for everyone. So we need four of these. Um, I've still, I've, I've not read any threads for ages, but I always tend to do five by five rooms. Uh, we're gonna need a a refrigerated room, and we're also gonna need an eating area. So I'm a bit concerned about this Tiberium. So what I'm gonna do? Look at you eating the goods, right? Oh, nice. You're actually getting peach. Ah, so we've got some peaches there. This will be interesting. Right, so can we extract peaches on this? No. Oh, poop. We can do apples, but it seems to be... No, that's not the sort of stuff that we need to do it for. They're all eating apples and making everyone angry, <laughs> angry waking everyone else up. Right, this is still getting built, apparently. Is that powered up now? It is. Nice, right. Let's find someone that's good at Pew Pew. Uh, was Yama any good? Right. Yavia, or Havia, however you pronounce it. Uh, let's give you a gun now. There's this thing here, this GDI rail gun. So if we look at this, we can see it, it fires high velocity bolts and does 60 damage. So let's equip that. I want to see if I can get one of these uh, silo Tiberium things knocked down. So Javier or Javier, it's coming. There you go. Right, we're going to try this one here. So let us ready up. Ah. Uh, 
Now I can't actually target it, which sucks. Oh, you can't do foot. Can I do forced fire on it? Let's try. Mm. It doesn't seem to be hitting. Oh, it is, but it's really. That is so slow. Right. Let's get some of the other dudes to help. So. Let's get GDI rifles. I'm just randomly giving that to a couple of them. Okay, Kevin. If you can try and take that out. You, you're hitting it, but you are really, really slow. So choke, you can come and help. Right, maybe this will help. Go and stand next to it. Both of you, right? So, you pew pew there. You pew pew there. Actually, go and stand next to him, because I don't, I don't trust his aim. Okay, let's just leave them pew pewing at that, and we'll go off and explore. So, dig into steel. Oh, that's a nice noise, isn't it? Right, you're harvesting all of that stuff. Taking berries back. I love that if you listen. See, you can hear, you can hear them going crazy in the, in the distance. Right, we're down to 39%. I'm going to move that away, because that is going to be... driving me nuts, that sound. Okay, we're on 20% nearly. Nice. 8%, 7%, 6, 5, 4. Right. And that is it. Oh, nice. We've actually took that down. So, and we've restricted the uh, use for that. We don't want to even go near that at the moment. Right, let's get a joy thing down. I've not put any joy actions down yet. Let's get a, uh, a horseshoe pin put down. Get that built. Okay, so we are hauling. We've got apples and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I need to uh, do a trade thing to uh, sort out the um, buying the actual ingredients and stuff for like growing various crops. Because as you can see, oh, now bizarrely enough, we've actually managed to plant carrots. So I must have had some. I've got oak and poplar, which are both trees. Can we extract carrot seeds? No. So all the things I keep thinking I'm going to be able to extract, I can't. Now that's interesting. Now, what about if I try and place... Now this might be a mod conflict. Now if it places a snow beat, does that mean that that mod is not working properly? Yeah. Because, now the reason for that and me thinking it's not working properly is... If I look at this mod here, well, this this feature, rice, potato, corn, strawberry. So I've planted something that's not in that list, and I can plant it. So I think on this one as well, if I say, for instance, choose to plant, ooh, I don't know, oats, I reckon that will plant because it's not in that initial list of things that are there. Let's see anyway. Now, the reason I planted oats is I noticed this, a milling stone. How cool is that? Uh, I'm just going to stick it in the main room there. And then there's also the an oven. So we need we need blocks for that, actually. So let's get some blocks on the go. Make any stone blocks. Do until you've got X. And let's just bump it up to 60. Okay, nice. Oh, you're so fast at building. Right, so we're making flour. Grind grains into flour. Grind sugar cane. Okay, we'll try one of each for that. I don't think I've got any of those materials yet. Okay, so I I, I was sort of right about that. So I don't know if that's a, cl uh, a clash between... I think it's between the seeds mod and the vegetable garden. 
Okay, so I've got my composting bin there as well. Um, it doesn't look like I can actually add anything to that. Maybe it's uh, I'm going to start adding stuff into that when I've uh, got bodies and stuff. So let's do a little dumping stockpile over here. I'm going to allow anything in that. Right, how's the uh, bedroom plan planning coming on? Yeah, it's not really, is it? There's an awful lot of steel which needs mining, mining out, though. I'm going to grab all of that. Okay. And stick some doors down. So we're going to door there, door there, door there. That all needs hauling. So let's try to haul urgently. If we set up the haul urgently on here, we can actually set that to one and then once these all get up we'll speed this up once these all get up this should be the first thing they do after they've eaten i think so here we go they're all currently sleeping they'll be getting up soon we've got this on fast time at the moment now if you watch these videos before you probably know this already but it took me i think someone else in the comments told me you actually speed up i used to always go down here and click it you can press the numbers so one is standard speed uh, two is the that speed. What is that speed? It's like that's that's normal. That's fast, and that's super fast. Or space pauses it. We should probably why you probably watch this and think how how do I keep changing the time? Right, I'm waiting for these to get up. Come on, here we go. So you're playing horseshoe. So you might eat, do his joy activity, and then, there we go. And then the rest of these should come and help out as well. You'll probably see Yama running up with his nice little Bob the Builder hat on. There we go. Look at him go. And that one as well. That needs hauling as well. Nice. Door got put up. So fast. I really do like that uh, that mod. The uh, the constructor hat. That is so, that is so good. <laughs> it is like a mining machine now. Look at him go. Go, go, Yama. And he looks pretty badass as well. Right, let's build a copy of that there. Look at, look, look at poor old Kevin. Just slogging away. Well, Yama is just like a mining machine. Right, let's go back to the base. And see how we're getting on. So we're actually making some blocks there. Now... Do I want to take them from there to there? I think I will because you've still got to take... You've got to go and get a block, so we might as well let you do it. So we've got 40 of them and 20 of them. Hmm. Now, I was thinking about building this new uh, swag oven. Needs 60 granite blocks. I should be able to change the requirements of that to whatever I want. Do sandstone or slate. We'll wait till we've got 60 of a certain type. And then we can uh, get that built. Interesting, look at this. Sandstone, slate, limestone. I've never seen three combinations in one room. Ooh, slate wall. Interesting. Eh, uh, very interesting. Uh, let's deconstruct that. Hopefully there's not going to be anything behind this. A bit, always a bit worrying when you get stuff like that in a, a random base. Okay, now these are this is where the, the bedrooms are going to be. So we want to do uh, a bed. There we go. Okay, yeah, I was off to go and make a bed. I think. Okay. Nice. So someone's got a bed there now. In fact, I think that can be your room, uh, Yama. Let's, uh... Actually, no, we'll go for the order so you can get that first bed. Then we're going to build another copy there, that one. Let's see. Let's see if you're quick enough to make this bed. Ooh, yes, you are. Okay. Are you going to be able to finish this room in time? I don't think so. Ah, oh, that fox is going ma mental again. Is that actually my fox? No, it's not. A 
thought it was my my pet fox, but no. Okay, so we've only got Kevin and Yammer in that bedroom now. We've got um, the bed over there. We've got the power. We've got this suppressor down, which I don't know if that's suppressing or not. I'm not seeing any spread of Tiberium yet and any of the others. Ooh, now where's the vein hole? Where is the vein hole? Uh, yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> yeah, that's the... So we do want to try and avoid that. These are all bringing uh, food. Mushrooms and what have you got? Apples. Yeah. So I think that's about it for this episode. So that's pretty uh, pretty productive episode. So uh, yeah, hope you're gonna uh, enjoy this series and stick around. Any uh, any questions or queries? Uh, drop me a comment below. I might know, and if I don't know, I'm sure some of you. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure some of you lot will know because you're always. Uh, you know, dropping me little truth bombs and stuff that I'm like, oh, I didn't realise that. So that's cool. So yeah, the episode one done and dusted. I'm Shirley Rocks. This is Rimworld Tiberium. See you next time.